Good evening. APD says a group of teens and young adults involved in a fatal crash this morning may have gone on a crime spree before the deadly accident that killed two and sent seven to the hospital. Let's get to News 13's Gabe Chavez. He's here with the latest. Police say it started all around 2 a.m. this morning at a house party and quickly turned into a deadly night. That house party happened near Lead and Ash. Just after 2 a.m., APD says they responded to the party after reports of people drinking, fighting, and carrying guns. As officers arrived, a black Nissan Altima sped off. Minutes later, around 2.15, police say that same Altima crashed into a car near Lead and Pine Street, then drove off. The car ended up nearly six miles away at the Denny's on San Mateo around 2.39 a.m., and that's when the night turned violent. A witness told police that two teens beat a homeless man with a pole, and then a group of about nine of them took off in the black four-door sedan, matching the description of the Nissan Altima from earlier. By 2.51 a.m., two people are dead. Police say that Altima, with nine people inside, ages ranging from 16 to 20 years old, was headed north on university at dangerous speeds. As they approached the frontage road, the driver lost control, causing the car to roll and hit a concrete pillar. Two passengers died on scene and seven were sent to the hospital. Of the seven people sent to the hospital, five are either intubated or in critical condition. Two passengers only sustained minor in injuries. Annalisa? Okay, Gabe, police say that alcohol, speed, and the number of people in the car were all factors in the deadly crash. Police have not released the names of anyone involved.